Well, hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Wild Your Garden. And in today's video, we are talking about a very special event with a very special person, Tim Appleton, who is the founder of Global Bird Fair and I can't wait to get there, Tim. So well, let's start with the basics. Where is the Global Bird Fair? Well, first of all, it's actually still in Rutland. Brilliant. You know, although the original fair has uh, now gone, uh, what we've done is try to relaunch it as a new, very exciting project and we're really excited and it's actually going to be in the local showground so it's supporting the local community and of course every hotel bed and breakfast campsite around the world thinks we're absolutely amazing and Fantastic. hopefully lots of people will love Rutland if they haven't been before when they come over the weekend of the 15th 16th 17th of July two weeks time my I know. gosh <laughs> every every year I wonder how does this man pull it all together but of course there's a, a, a very strong woman that stands behind you Penny isn't there which yeah, uh, yeah. should get as much recognition I think and you probably agree <laughs> yeah exactly yeah I mean she is quite amazing when I'm fast asleep in bed you know she comes up at three o'clock in the morning and still <laughs> typing and typing no I mean it's been a brilliant team and we are the team you yeah. know we get these wonderful uh, comments from people around the world can you ask the team um, <laughs> and we look around and say you know hang on where's this team here's the kitchen table yeah yeah this is where we are and i've seen and the office first hand oh you know. absolutely and you've been treated to a special <laughs> cup of coffee or so, two now <laughs> so yeah i mean it's really really exciting because uh, you know we, we've got so much support unbelievable i mean yeah. you know in our first year we've got nearly 250 exhibitors wow. which i think is remarkable and yeah. such a diverse group of people which is really exciting so global bird fair if we speak about that for a moment in terms of being global so a lot of people obviously come from all over the world to exhibit to to promote conservation on a global scale so what's the cause this year well the cause is going to be a project in Andalusia uh, called La Handa. now La Handa may not be something that triggers off people's minds because it was a lake that was once Europe's largest lake that was flooded um, annually uh, there's always wetland areas but it was then uh, removed and, and um, sorry um, and, <laughs> I do and, it all the time <laughs> yeah, it, and it was then um, uh, taken over by Franco and drained which is the word yeah. I was looking for yes yeah. and uh, it was then uh, handed out to it as pals you know after the civil war right. uh, but now this is such an important area that we want to try to restore it so Brilliant. slowly land is being brought back and uh, it, it's going to be phenomenal and if, when you think about it every single swallow every single martin all the birds that migrate down through Europe yeah. will use this as a staging post in the future yeah. and will help to their survival as they get into Africa going south and of course coming north the same again absolutely yeah so not quite quite as good as Rutland Water though. Well, of course not, I mean, that goes without saying. You know. <laughs> Which I ought to say is where we are, obviously. And this, fortunately for you, being your back garden, of course, so you're a lucky man. And you've actually had, what is it, 118 species of bird from your garden this year so far? Absolutely, yeah. I th believe it's the best garden tick list wow. in, in Britain at the moment. <laughs> so yeah, we're, we're waiting for the autumn now for a few more waiters yeah, to come through. So Global Bird Fair is the, the heart of the message is, is conservation worldwide. And obviously you've raised I think it's nearly 40 million pounds yeah. over the last 30 odd years for global conservation, haven't you? Which I'm not too sure many people can put put their hand to. Well, <laughs> or I mean, say that they've achieved. Yeah, but I mean, achieved with by so many people. Absolutely. Yeah, I yeah. mean, I think yeah. that's the key message here. I mean, I might have been, um, you know, there at the top, they're doing things and asking and begging people to help and do sort of thing. But it's the volunteers, you know, and the individuals. The fact that when somebody comes through that gate uh, in a fortnight's time, you know, their money will be going to help save a conservation project. Absolutely. And I've always passionately believed that the money we can raise in the UK, you know, can do an awful lot elsewhere around the world. Yeah. Know? RSBB who are wonderful this year they're great supporters they're uh, of it they're one of our sponsors you know they've got a million plus members you know yeah. so we should be able to do and safeguard uh, our habitats in the UK yeah brilliant now I'm really looking forward to it obviously because it's well basically uh, a bit of a a yearly tradition isn't it you know I mean for me it's like a, a pilgrimage you yeah know, it's the one event that obviously I'm very much looking forward to building a wildlife garden for you guys and hopefully doing you proud absolutely I um, hope so. which uh, yeah obviously anybody Good. watching this can come and see us I think I'm in Robin Mar Mar you are Mar indeed yeah yep. next next here yep, right at the top there in a key location brilliant next to plant life and be friendly which is a yep. really good area I think to be in and so you know I think a lot of people will sort of home in on you and then they go on to the optics marquees and from there they can go down to the K2 
catering. They can go to the three lecture theatres. And then, of course, we've got the main uh, art marquee, which is phenomenal. And from the art marquee, just cross the road almost, and you're in Osprey main event, where Fantastic. we've got some incredible events going on every second of the day almost. Including one, I believe, from... 10 15 to 11 30 which involves myself Stephen Moss and a yeah, few yeah, others uh, Dominic Cousins think. oh it does you're <laughs> quite right yeah which uh, we'll, we'll be discussing all sorts of stuff won't we? yeah exactly it's very much sort of uh, getting people from the audience to ask questions you know it's our wildlife question time you know? yeah so yeah I think it'd be really important and of course wildlife is so critical to this yeah. whole um, event so yeah it is the ethos it is all about conservation globally and I think that's a message I really want to get across because the pandemic has obviously had a major impact on a lot of the smaller companies, yeah. lodges, everybody in these small communities that are safeguarding forests, they're safeguarding wetlands that's in right. remote parts of the world that would otherwise have disappeared. Yeah. So we desperately need to look at how positive burning can have a really good impact and we've got some super debates uh, on these sort of subjects during the course of the uh, weekend. And obviously that, you know, does, again, even even though it's a global fair, it relates to every single individual coming into the fair, which is hopefully where I can add a bit of meat to the bread and, and you know, encourage people to do stuff on their own doorstep, which is just as important, isn't it? Yeah, totally and absolutely. And I think that's the message, again, <coughs> that, you know, we are trying to get through. You know, as I say, the pandemic has opened up so many eyes. You know, people are now actually not sitting necessarily in their offices all day long. They you know, have a break. They go into the garden because they're working from home. They're suddenly hearing, you know, the blackbird or a mm. plane, as we're hearing at the moment. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, you know, suddenly everything is changing. You know, yeah. the sales of things like binoculars apparently yeah. have soared, and uh, so people, are, you know, want to get out and observe nature. And we're there to encourage them. Brilliant. So lots of events, lots of talks, yeah. lots of good food. Yeah, of I course, like absolutely. Or good street food yeah. as well. So individual catering areas, you know, which would be phenomenal. I mean, you know, and for every taste, you know, from vegans to the carnivores, you know, everyone yeah. is, uh, um, you know, has has their t- their taste will be there to, to fulfilled. Enjoy. Yeah. Fulfill that yeah. Probably. And and so the fifteenth to the seventeenth of July. Yep. I, I cannot wait. That's Friday the fifteenth. Obviously I'll put a link in below to anybody who wants to go to uh, the website which is globalbirdfair.org, I yeah, believe, isn't indeed, it? Yeah. Um, so they can buy tickets online there, can't they? Yeah, exactly. And I would like to point out one particular event which we'd love lots of people to come to. We're actually making a small charge of ten pounds to come into this event because all that money again will go to a conservation project. And that's on the Friday evening after to the long day of course yeah uh, it's called our state of the earth question time and we've got some incredible people on that panel we've Brilliant. got Dominic Dyer actually chairing it yep. we've got Sir Ian Boyd we've got uh, um, several CEOs from uh, BirdLife International Patricia Zarita uh, from WWT uh, and we've got uh, Re- uh, Rebecca Wrigley also from Re- uh, Rewild Britain yep. and Jake Fines as well, you know, yep. who's Fantastic. going to be re- really big important. Yeah. 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 Great. So obviously if people can get to that, that'll be well worth seeing. We would love to see them all there. And they can book online, of course. Yeah. And, and it's actually at the uh, Rutland Showground, isn't it? Just yeah. outside of Oakham. Indeed, which is um, literally only two miles from Rutland Water uh, yeah. as well. So it's, it's, and it'll be well sandpasted, believe me. Yeah, oh, I've no, no <laughs> doubt. <yeah. laughs> well, Tim, I cannot wait. And hopefully by seeing this, a lot more people will come to the event. But even if they don't, I'm, I'm sure we're going to expect a big turnout, particularly Absolutely. because this is the first one in three years, isn't it? So yeah, exactly. So, really and I think that's the thing that the excitement I'm hearing is as much coming and looking at new products and that sort of thing, but it's getting back and chatting to old friends. You know, yep. Instead of Zooming or whatever <laughs> one's doing these days, you know, they can actually go, hi, yeah, you know, <laughs> have a beer, just, yeah. just sort of enjoy being normal again, basically. Absolutely, yeah, and, and getting out in, in public spaces. So I can't wait. I'm sure you've got a lot to do, so I'm not going to take any more of Thank your you time. Thank you very much. I will um, zoom off in a minute. Yeah. Oh, no, no, I won't be zooming. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tim, thanks so much. And yeah. um, obviously, keep keep doing what you're doing. It's it's a it's a great pleasure to be able to come to these events. And if it wasn't for you, obviously, this this the, you are the glue, aren't you? Let's face it. So, uh, you yeah, know, I'm as, stuck here. As I think modest as you are. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks so much. Yeah. And um, obviously, anybody watching this, please feel free to go to globalbirdfair.org, uh, follow um, the team and 
uh, Tim and everybody on Twitter, Instagram. Um, there's loads of stuff that you guys are posting, yeah, isn't there, brilliant. on the run-up to yeah, the event. Fantastic. And so, uh, yes, do give them a follow on whatever social media platform you choose to use, and hopefully it will be, well, I'm sure, it will be a, yeah. a wonderful, wonderful event. So it's share, share, and share. And share again. <laughs> and share again. <laughs> Good, anyway, thank you very much. Brilliant, brilliant. thanks, Tim. Yeah. And thank you very much for watching, guys. Feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Give the video a like and I'll be sure to bring you many more updates and the full build of my wildlife garden from the event and hopefully a few interviews if I can, you know, bend Tim's ear into uh, letting me go and see a few more people I'm sure and, we will. and uh, do a bit of an overview of the bird fair as a yeah. whole. So right. stay tuned, lots more to come. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.